When I talk with people by email or answering prayer requests, I'll often put a note in about enjoying life. If you don't take time to enjoy life, if you don't give yourself a break from all the stresses, the strains that can come with daily living, well, you'll be finding time for illness. I've been in ministry so long that I know this to be a fact, that those people that work constantly, that worry constantly, that stress constantly, that have anxiety constantly, well, they better set time aside for illness because the body can't take it. The mind can't take it. You must give yourself a break. In Philippians 4, verse 4, it gives the key to this. It says, always be full of joy in the Lord. Well, if you're really spiritual, if you really have faith in God, what else can you do but be full of joy in the Lord? And it repeats that. Whenever the Bible repeats something, it is like putting an emphasis on it 100 times. It says, always be full of the joy in the Lord. I say again, rejoice. Are you a person that takes time each day, not just putting it off for vacation time, but each day to really enjoy life? So many people in today's society, they don't. They put it off until another time, sometimes far, far in the future. I've known people that put off joy until retirement. I think that's very sad. Hopefully you're one of the people that makes time every day to enjoy life. After all, you are a recipient of the most precious gift of all, and that is the gift of life from God. And because God has seen fit to give you this gift, it is incumbent upon you to use it and to enjoy it. But sometimes, amid the pressures and the demands of daily living, really enjoying life may seem almost impossible. I tell you, my friend, it is not. For most of us, fun is as much a function of attitude as it is a function of environment. Sometimes that fun is multiplied when you're doing it with another person. So whether you're standing victorious atop one of life's mountains or in the present moment trudging through one of life's valleys, I ask you to enjoy yourself. Spiritually, this is the key. Sometimes some of the hardest things that I've done in life, I look back on with a smile. I often talk to people that were in the military, and they hated it at the time. They hated basic training, and they hated every moment until they could get out, and now they look back on that as some of the greatest experiences of their lives. You deserve to have fun today. Now that's a key. You're a child of God. You deserve this. You must, though, through your free will, give it to yourself. Don't wait for it to come. You give it to yourself. God wants you to enjoy life, and God's given you a life to enjoy. So, I ask you, what are you waiting for?